Thankful for a few things. Which one do I talk about first? So a couple of days ago, I saw my first Robin. Have you seen your first Robin yet of the season? Such a great sight to see and sound to hear. Definitely means that spring is right around the corner. I'm sure we'll have a few cold days and maybe some flurries here and there. Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. I can probably predict it just as much as a meteorologist can. But definitely great to see Robins around again. The spring market is well underway. Had a few rental transactions, especially this past week. And had a nice closing a few days ago. Wonderful young couple. Helped them find their first home together. Uh, he's been a client of mine uh, that we worked on a few deals in the past. Uh, very appreciative of the business and his loyalty and uh, the relationship that we have. So thank you very much to them. I look forward to seeing what they do at the place. It's a really beautiful and spacious condo. A lot of square footage there. Next thing I'm thankful for, I'm also a little bit sad about, and well, at least until tomorrow, you know that old saying, absence makes the heart grow fonder? Uh, well, that is very true. Nor may soon have been traveling over the last few days. Certainly the home doesn't feel like a home without them, but I am going to be meeting with them very soon and spending a few days together out of town. I've talked about in previous videos. Here I am actually trying to, actually doing that whole work-life balance thing. Always fun getting back and catching up, but, but I'm very thankful to be able to get away and spend some time with the family. And the last thing I wanted to talk about today, I can go on forever about all the things I'm thankful for, but I'm thankful for childhood friends. A memory popped up in my head the other day and I was kind of laughing at myself because I always do that. And I was remembering uh, gym class uh, at St. Audubon. For those who do know me in my past, um, I started off at Audubon. Uh, my sister and I actually started there and spent a few years over there and got transferred over to St. Andrew. Um, I in third grade, my sister in fifth grade, but certainly was a very, at least for me, it was a very rough transition. Uh, not only being in a whole different class with different people and trying to make friends, which wasn't always easy for me as a kid. But I have to admit, I was probably more in the nerd crowd, or not probably, I was. So my friends were definitely in that same crowd. And it was always fun in gym class because uh, when we played games, like the memory that came to my head was we played uh, softball in the gymnasium uh, over there in, in Addison near Polina. And very often at gym class, we were playing some sort of sport and it was gonna be a team sport. So the gym teacher would uh, pick two captains. Uh, after the first time, uh, half the class learned their lesson. And uh, once, once I got chosen, they would grumble because they knew exactly what was coming. It was uh, gonna be an ass whooping. My theory was I wanted to play with my friends. So uh, my friends, we were smart, but we, we weren't very athletic. Uh, certainly couldn't compete with the kids that actually knew how to play the sports. Uh, and maybe hit a ball, especially when we were playing softball. And I remember being so happy because I got a chance to play with my friends and have my friends be on the same team. But like many kids, they just wanted to win. Or at least they would have liked to have known what winning was, especially when I was captain. I remember a few times where we were just playing softball and we would come up and could barely hit the ball or could barely even get past first base. And then when it was our time to take the field, the other team would just crush us and hit homers into the bleachers, probably like every other pitch. So although losing wasn't fun, playing with my friends was very fun. And number one, I'm very thankful that they didn't beat my ass after school. Uh, but number two, I'm very thankful that uh, several of those friends who were at my side losing so badly remained friends after all these years. I'm still connected on Facebook with a lot of the old classmates uh, from eighth grade. But the guys that I'm closest to, um, doesn't have to be many, but there are a few. But the few guys that I'm still closest to, they were definitely part of the losing team. But thanks to them, I have their friendship. And in the end, I feel like I won. Hope they feel the same way too. What are you thankful for this past week? Who are you, some of your oldest friends? Do they go back to preschool, kindergarten, birth? I know it's hard to stay connected with people that we went to school with uh, some of us so many years ago, but we'd love to hear your story. Feel free to share in the comments below. Send me a message. Tell a family member, friend, loved one, or just a perfect stranger. Or go ahead and write it down in a journal. Make sure you're keeping track of the things that you're thankful for every day and every week. Never forget, there's always something to be thankful for. Thank you so much for watching and or listening, and we'll catch you next week.